Hello students at Laman International School in China. I'm so excited that Miss Zoe asked me to share a book with you. One of the books that I wrote because um, this I think you will like this. I, I Where I live in Canada, I have chickens. Have you ever seen real life chickens? Do you have any where you live? So my chickens are kind of funny because I go out there in the morning. I go to the chicken coop where they live and they always follow me home and they always look curious. So one day my chickens gave me an idea for a story and this is what it looks like. So my book is called Emma's Eggs. I called my chicken Emma because I thought that was a good name. So my chicken, Emma, is growing up from a little dandelion chick. She's growing into a big feathery white hen. And she likes stepping through the grass and scratching the ground for seeds and worms. And whenever she wants to, Emma can go inside the chicken coop where she has a nice nest. See how she fits on her nest? like the lid on a cookie jar. Well, one day Emma was sitting on her nest when she had the urge to do something. And she said, talk, 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 talk. And to her amazement, she had made her very first egg. Well, Emma was very proud of that egg. And when the farmer's wife came to find the eggs, Emma followed her back to the house, just like my real chickens do. And when she got to the house, Emma hopped on an empty apple crate under the kitchen window. And she peeked inside. And you know what she saw? She saw that they were scrambling her egg. And Emma said, Talk? Is that what you're supposed to do with eggs? And so the next time Emma laid an egg, she scrambled it. And when the farmer came to find the eggs, he said, no, 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 Emma, that's not what chickens do with their eggs. And he shooed her away. Well, Emma followed the farmer back to the house. She looked in the window together with all her other farm friends. And she saw that he put eggs in a pot full of water. Talk, said Emma. Is that what you have to do with eggs? And so the next time she laid an egg, she laid it in the chicken's water bowl. And when the farmer came to find the eggs, he said, no, 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 Emma, that's not what chickens do. And he shooed her away. And Emma thought, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I'm making eggs the way people want them and they're not pleased. Well, the next time Emma looked in the window, she saw something strange. What were the kids doing with eggs? That's right, they were painting them. It must have been Easter, right? Have you ever made painted Easter eggs? Well, Emma said, Doc, is that how they want my eggs? And so she found an old paintbrush and she was just putting on the finishing touches when the farmer's wife came back and she said, No, 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 Emma, that's not what chickens do. And they shooed her away again. Well, early the next morning, Emma was outside and she noticed the farmer and his wife hiding eggs all over the farmyard. And Emma said, Oh, is that what they want me to do with my eggs? So guess what? Emma started to hide her eggs. And the farmer said, Emma must have stopped laying eggs because I can't find any. And then he didn't see the one that was hidden under the straw and he accidentally stepped on it. 
And he said, oh, no, 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 Emma, that's that's not what chickens do. And he wanted to shoo her away. But can you tell how she feels by now? She looks angry. She said, talk. She said, if they don't like my eggs the way I'm making them, I'm not going to give anyone any more eggs. And so Emma laid one perfect egg in her nest. And then she sat on top of it like the lid on a cookie jar. And whenever anybody came near, she shooed them away. And she sat and sat on her egg for a long time until one day she got up and she looked at her egg and to her amazement, it started to creak and crack. And out of the shattered shell stepped a dandelion chick. And it said, talk. And Emma said, talk. And the farmer said, yes, 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 Emma. That's what chickens do with their eggs. So finally she got it right. So do you think that was a true story about my chickens? Not really, right? I got the idea from my chickens because they're so funny, but I kind of made it up so it's a fictional story because my chickens don't really paint their own eggs. But you can paint a picture of Emma and maybe you can give her some polka dotted or decorated eggs and see what happens in your story. Or you could make up your own story about a different animal. You could write about a funny dog who wants to go to school and learn how to read. Or you could write about a cat who thinks he is a panda bear. I don't know. So I hope that you read lots and lots of books in school and that you use your imagination to write your own stories too. Happy reading. Bye.